What's up guys, Joe from My Tech Jam here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play NES, Super Nintendo, and Game Boy Advance games on your Amazon Fire TV. Just a reminder guys, if you like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more content. So the first thing we're going to do is scroll over to Settings. Then over to device. Then scroll down to developer options. And make sure that ADB debugging is on and apps from unknown sources is also on. Next, you'll need your Fire TV's IP address. You can get this by going back to the device menu, clicking about, and scrolling down to network. Once you've done all that, you can switch over to your computer. Once you're on your computer, open up a browser and go to mytechjam.com slash index.php slash AFTV dash Nintendo. I will leave the link in the description below. Once the page loads up, you'll have links to all the files you need to get this working. I want to thank Dean Vaughn for writing the batch files that are contained in the emulator packages. I will leave a link to his website in the description below as well. The package on the top is the one I'll be using. It already contains the three ROMs and the Game Boy Advance BIOS file, but if you'd like to download Dean's original AFTV emulator package, you can, and you could download the ROMs and the BIOS individually. When you're ready, click the link on the top and download the zip file. Then open up the folder where you saved it and extract the files. Once you unzip the folder and open it, if you look in the ROMs folders, you'll see that I included one game in each folder view, and I also included the Game Boy Advance BIOS. So all you need to do is click on the Install Emulators Batch file, enter the IP address of your Fire TV, and the install of the emulators will begin. As you can see, all three emulators are now installed on my Fire TV. The next thing you need to do is make sure you have your ROM files in the correct folders and then click the Install ROMs Batch file. Then enter the IP address of your Fire TV and the batch file will basically take the three ROM folders on your computer and anything in them and transfer it to your Fire TV. When that finishes you are pretty much ready to go, so you can switch back over to your Fire TV. Then from the Home menu, scroll down to Your Apps and Games and go all the way to the right and click See All. Then scroll down and you should find the three emulators we installed. Also keep in mind that once we open them from here once, they will appear on the Recents menu. Once you open one of them up, you'll need to browse to the ROMs folder we created and select the ROM you'd like to play. Once you click the ROM file, the game will begin. As you can see, the game runs pretty well, there really isn't much lag. There are better emulators out there, but these are free and they're pretty good. The process for the Super Nintendo emulator is the same, but I'll run through it quickly just so you can see. The first time you open up the Game Boy Advance emulator, you'll have one extra step because you'll have to select the BIOS file. If you've been following along, it should be located in the ROMs GBA folder. Once the BIOS file has been selected, you can just scroll down and select the ROM you'd like to play. Whatever type of controller you'll be using to play these games, you probably will need to map your controls. To do this from within any of the emulators, you can press the menu button on your Fire TV remote, the one with the three lines. Then choose Settings. Input Settings. And Key Mappings. Then from within this menu, you can assign any of the controls you need to. From the emulator menu, you can also close a game by pressing More and Close. 
Also, going forward, if you'd like to add more ROMs to your Fire TV, you simply just put them in those same ROM folders on your computer, run the install ROMs batch file again, and they should transfer over. I just want to thank Dean Vaughn of DeanVaughn.org for providing the batch files used in this video. And as always, if you guys like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more content.